Aviation Safety Board says it's continuing to survey the ship and the area surrounding the vessel after confirming this afternoon that the wreckage found on Saturday is in fact that of the El Faro. Four Mainers were on board the vessel when it sank in rough seas on October 1st. The Navy ship Apache located the wreckage 15,000 feet underwater using a side scanning sonar system. The NTSB says the wreckage is upright. That could make finding the voyage data recorder easier, which could give insight into the ship's finals mo final moments. The four Mainers on board the ship included Captain Michael Davidson of Wyndham and Dylan Mecklen and Daniel Randolph of Rockland. Michael Holland was also on the ship. His mother, Deb Roberts, says this weekend's development was bittersweet. I feel like I'm at tug of war with my heart and my head. That's what I feel like. That's the best way that I can put it. Because my head wants the answers, but my heart wants hope. So it's struggling to find that balance. Officials say recovering the voyage data recorder, documenting the debris, and photographing the site could take 15 days or longer. The ship will not be brought to the surface, but if remains are found, the Navy will try to recover them. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8. All right, thank you, Courtney.